in the members Q&A this month, someone brought up my career astrology course. So this is an online four-part training all about how to figure out career and life direction using your birth chart. And this member had talked about how they had successfully used the methods that I teach in this course to predict when their friend would get a new job, which was fabulous to hear. And I know these techniques work because I've used them in client consults for more than 10 years. And I'd kind of forgotten that I taught this training, which was a year or two ago now. And so I wanted to share one of the big tips about career astrology that I think gets overlooked with you. And then if you want more, I'll point you to where you can take this particular program. So you probably have learned or figured out by now that the career part of the birth chart is this funny point known as the MC, which is the uh, initials of a Latin phrase that translates to mean mid-heaven or middle of the sky, middle of the heavens. And everybody has an MC in their chart somewhere. So the first thing that we tend to focus on a lot is the sign of the MC, which could be any zodiac sign. It'll be very different from your sun sign and your moon sign most of the time. So the first thing to know is your MC sign, which you could think about as your career sign. And you might want to think about the element or even the modality of your career sign, the sign on your midheaven. But the most important influence around career for you is going to be the traditional ruling planet of the sign that your MC falls in. So if your MC is in the sign of Aries or in Scorpio, Mars is going to be your personal career planet. And you'll really want to explore Mars in your birth chart to understand the symbols, the cycles, and the possible pathways for career for you. So if you're thinking about the traditional seven visible planets, that really means there are seven pathways that we're all walking down professionally. Now, even within those seven pathways or seven options, there are many nuances that individualize and personalize our experience based on the condition and aspects of that particular career ruling planet. So let me give you a quick rundown. I mentioned that if you have an Aries MC or a Scorpio MC, Mars is going to be your career ruling planet. And you'll need to focus on the placement of Mars, the sign in house in Mars, and the aspects of Mars in your birth chart. If you have a Taurus midheaven or a Libra midheaven, then Venus is going to be your personal career planet. And the aspects of Venus and the placement of Venus in the chart are probably going to have the biggest say over what happens professionally for you. If you have a Gemini or a Virgo midheaven, then Mercury is going to be your personal career planet. And you really want to pay attention to Mercury in your birth chart in terms of Mercury's sign, Mercury's house, Mercury's aspects, etc. If you've got a Cancer midheaven, the moon is going to be your personal career planet. And so you'll want to pay attention to things like the moon phase, the moon sign, the moon house, and the moon's aspects. A Leo MC, of course, is going to be ruled by the sun and will highlight everything to do with the sun in your birth chart as being symbolic and descriptive of what's happening professionally and in terms of your career for you personally. Now, let's see, we've got all the way around to Scorpio because they pair up with the first half of the zodiac. So now we're up to the two Jupiter ruled signs. If you have a Sagittarius midheaven or a Pisces midheaven, I fall into this Jupiter ruled MC category. So if you have a Sag MC or a Pisces MC, then Jupiter is going to be your career ruling planet. And if you have a Capricorn uh, midheaven or an Aquarius midheaven, Saturn is going to be your personal career planet. So if you're a Sag ruled or sorry, I should say a Jupiter ruled midheaven or a Saturn ruled midheaven, you can imagine the tone around career is very different. If you have a Sag or a Pisces midheaven and Jupiter is your career planet, then things like adventure or faith or teaching or travel could be really important professionally for you. If you have a Saturn ruled midheaven, your midheaven is in the sign of either Capricorn or Aquarius, maybe security is important to you or working with within systems and structure uh, is important to you. So there's some general themes that you can think about based on what is the nature, what is the basic essence of the planet that rules your midheaven. And then you can get really personal in terms of knowing every little special feature about that career planet in your birth chart. You can go down to things like its sign and house placement, its aspect placement, whether it has dignity or debility, uh, maybe even if it's moving quickly or slowly. You can even look at the term placement. I know some of these phrases might be unfamiliar to you, but these are all things that I do cover in that career astrology online course. 
So the structure of that course includes uh, four classes. The first two classes are the deep exploration of career in the natal chart. So I go into more detail about about what I've just been sharing with you about the sign of the MC, the ruling planet of the MC, and how the condition of the ruling planet of the MC in the birth chart describes, you know, career experiences. Do you fall into your career early in life and have great success? Does it take you a while to find your way? Do you feel like you never quite get there? The secrets of your career planet, your midheaven ruling planet, are the ones that are going to reveal all of this to you. The second two classes in this training are about timing. So it's about timing in your career. And in those two classes, you learn all about how transits and secondary progressions can influence these kind of peaks or highs in your career and also describe some low points or some uh, kind of hibernation points where you might be at a bit of a lull or you might be kind of taking a break professionally. So if you're interested to learn more about career and astrology, uh, we can all thank my uh, member who joined us in the members Q&A for my monthly subscription uh, last month who reminded me of this course and they shared how much success they'd had with predicting when their friend would get a new job based on the methods that I teach in that course. So that four-part training on career astrology, it is designed for intermediate or slightly more advanced students. You will need to already be familiar with aspects, transits, and progressions. So it's a very practical course that is going to show you how to use those techniques within the context of exploring the question around career. I don't know about you, but it's one of the most uh, asked about topics that I get in consults and that I hear about from students. So to meet that need, I did put together this four-part training. I'm going to link to that below. If you've got any further questions on the topic of career in astrology, let me know and I can use them for a future video. All right. Take care.